Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Are we together now? And so all the teachings that we bring here are an attempt, a contribution, you can call it, to open us up and help build that we rise to that point where we not only know God, but we understand his ways. It's, it's very arrogant for me to have to be the one saying this, but let me tell you sincerely, I love and I care about every one of you from the depth of my heart it, it shouldn't be me saying it but i say it because it's the truth it matters to me that your knowledge of god is rich it matters to me that your conformity to the fullness of all that he is and he represents is rich in your life it matters to me also that you gain intelligence spiritually that you come to a point where your life is furnished with thorough understanding. You are not unfruitful in the knowledge of the truth. You can know God as a person and still be unfruitful in the knowledge of the systems of the kingdom. You hear me say this. I will keep repeating it until it becomes your convictions. Because the operation of God on earth, in as much as the Bible has revealed to us, is systemic are we together god is the god of systems when you encounter his person then he grants you the ability to understand his ways his methodology his systems the results that we seek are dependent on our comprehension and engaging of the systems accordingly are we together so on one hand we are coming into the knowledge of God, intimacy here and there, but then we must understand his ways. Listen, let me tell you this. Our destinies, the quality of our destinies on earth, not only depend on the love of God for us, but our ability to understand his ways of doing things. Are we together now? To be able to replicate his reality in our environment. That's the whole idea of kingdom come. It's not a mystery is to be able to sustain the ability to make your life become an expression in every area every area remember there's a scripture we've been playing around with very recently the bible says second peter chapter 1 and verse 3 it says according as verse 2 says grace and peace be multiplied to you you know through the knowledge of him of our god and of our lord jesus christ verse 3 says according as his divine power hath given us how many things all things that pertain unto what apostle peter would have just stopped and said his divine power hath given us all things that would have been enough but he says those all things are divided into two categories the matters that pertain unto life and the matters that pertain unto godliness everyone say after me life godliness say one more time life godliness there are matters that pertain unto godliness for instance your spiritual growth right 
the the issues of the spirit when i open you up to the dimensions of the spirit the anointing understanding the ways of god digging into the boils of the spirit to be able to come up with the things that help you to conform better to become a spiritual man these are the things that pertain unto godliness but there are things that pertain unto life the well-being of your children matters that pertain unto life is that true the ability to not be under the yoke of this godless system that has designed a structure to strangle any intention to be serious with god there is a system intentionally built that's what is captured in the mystery babylon a system that was built with intelligence intended to frustrate any desire to be serious with god and so the system operates in many ways by making men busy by making men poor by making men mediocre by making them frustrated to lack a sense of purpose that those who are not of the world will continue to pay tribute in cash and in kind with their time and with their lives but there is a bailout system and the bible says they are matters that pertain unto life no matter how anointed you are when you watch your child being driven out of school it will frustrate your christian experience now i have said it again and again we do not serve god just because of tea and bread listen very carefully we don't serve god because of the things that he gives us we serve him because of who he is and our love for him but he has so designed in his wisdom that in serving him you encounter other things the ability to attend to the matters of life because in doing so you demonstrate that he is a good father number two in doing so you demonstrate dominion number three in doing so it affords you the time to further commit yourself are we together there is a conspiracy it's always been there but it's been reinforced again this system of satan occupying men their time their life to never allow them serve god do you know why many of the people we call god's generals were powerful they gave god time that is the commodity that satan is fighting today in our generation time you never know anything without giving it time you meet a full animal he can whisper something to his cows and they will behave themselves because he spends time with them you don't wake up and come one morning and tell a cow move left these are animals our time with god is under attack hear me carefully our time with god that is the principal factor that sponsors our knowledge of him is under serious attack and if a generation does not stand up to say satan what are you doing our children you see these little kids running up and down they will no longer have time for god there is a system that is derailing men away and is doing it in a very subtle way it's not happening overnight you check the schedules of the average man there is nothing about god there aside from one religious devotion that is done in 10 minutes god is not you can't give god 10 minutes of your time and want to host his glory you come back to sleep you are tired and it's not like you were doing anything kingdom satan system he manipulates men like he's playing a chess something is wrong brothers and sisters this is i'm starting tonight with a clarion call something is wrong our generation really needs to seek the lord but not under the conditions that the devil has put us in you're not going to seek the lord when your rent is about killing you you will just dance around and give thanks but not to seek the lord it's amazing how we have to sit down and specially create time for god we don't specially create time for money we are seeking it all our lives we don't specially create time for fame we don't specially create time for a living but when it comes to god there has to be an extra effort it says as for me and my house it didn't say we'll be christians we will 
it's a commitment as for he was not saying as for a pastor who is now into this burden called ministry say as for me and my house i have made a decision that i will serve the lord our generation is under serious threat look how hard the devil has made it for an average young man to be established even at age 40 he has not even started establishment if he's to live 80 years that's half of his life gone and don't forget that when he's 60 70 his strength may not be there again and the bible says that we should serve god in the days of our youth so he rubbishes the days of our youth so that we spend our entire life looking for what to eat what to drink trying to educate our minds trying to earn a living and then we give him some little time devotions here one program one emotional crusade here we will never it's impossible to institutionalize god to a generation that way if we want our children and our children's children to serve the lord let me tell you we must make god a big deal in our generation not a factor you add to your life if you are a christian but the basis of your living I'm concerned especially about our teenagers. Most of them don't know God again. Ask them, when we were teenagers, one young man who is not even serious, just a Sunday school goer, can recite 30 verses. It doesn't matter whether he loves God or not. But you ask one of these young ones to recite even John 3.16. That unbelievers who were passing around church knew. You ask them and hear what they will tell you. But ask them what is the latest app, the latest computer game, huh? The latest, uh, what do we call it? All these funny things. They are not wrong in themselves, but something is happening to a generation. If we don't pay attention, we will cry in old age and say, Lord, did I fail my generation? These are my contemplations the level of non-attention to god is becoming a thing of concern we are going to churches sundays churches are full with members wednesday activity i'm talking of seeking the lord not as a profession for a man of god where he gets salary at the end of the month as for me and my I will serve the Lord most people who serve the Lord is because they have given up on the matters of life there is no hope of sending any child to school there is no hope of anything they know they will die whether or not they serve the Lord so they say okay since I have two years left let me just try to do something no our generation has brought an option be poor and fail and serve the Lord or be blessed and be occupied trying to make a living who gave us that option as for me and my house i will serve the lord that one day i will come to your house on a weekday and hear sounds of worship from your gate not cassette you and your four children are serving the lord and i say by two o'clock i thought you should be earning a living and you say he showed me another system now we are serving the lord and visitors pull their mouth while they are languishing in the squalor of rebellion and watch you say pastor alpha you are serving the lord jedediah is 12 years and his teenager friends are there all around smoking their destinies away and this child is there serving the lord it is selfishness and wickedness that makes us to forget the generation that is coming i'm sorry to say it and I, I love our parents we have many of our elderly people here i love them but one of the mistakes that our fathers made was they were very selfish they did not remember that a generation was coming so all they did was to educate their minds and look for food to eat there's hardly any heritage given to a young man every young man starts almost from ground zero spiritually financially 
the time a young man should use building his spirit is fighting warfare because the chains that have held him at party he must spend one year contending for victory as for me and my house i can't claim it for everybody but as for me and my house we will serve the lord how many of us here got born again directly by our parents how many of you some of us were just around and salvation by the mercy of god met you in one sunday school some of you salvation met you at the point of death did you know that for many of us we never had the talk about god we had godliness in a religious way every time there was bible study something happened a sound in the zinc demotion that was imminent or something that sponsored some emotional reaction say as for me and my house say as for me and my house i will serve the lord are we together yes it matters that we make this decision right now that we will serve the lord we will serve the lord I've been doing a lot of counseling lately especially for our dear ones that are getting married and i look at them my first concern is will your home serve the lord will your life serve the lord let me tell you there is a wicked babylonian financial system there that was designed to make sure you don't serve the lord how can one man do five jobs because he's trying to pay rent it's a cause you wake up by six do a job to 12 and satan makes sure his tip end comes from there and then you start another one till four and your body is weak but you know if you don't do this you will not eat well and you start another one and in the next five years that man dies and leaves seven children look at our dear mothers God, something is wrong go listen to me i came tonight to talk to you from the depth of my heart it's a vow i build myself that's the truth you bail yourself through a commitment of obedience but my job is to share this with you that if we don't wake up and join ignorant people or this proud religiosity that only focuses on the matters of godliness and leaves the matters of life one day you will stand and watch you will be a mighty man of god with a big parish and your wife and you will watch your children with pity letter come and stand before you we've been expelled not because we smoked not because we drank because the means to make it happen was not there you will be in a church and the owner will come and lock the church while service is going on and drive you out as for me and my house everything that must be put in place in my life to allow me serve God I will put in place if you can make that commitment tonight we have achieved something so far he says the things that pertain unto life and godliness and those things the equipping comes through knowledge 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 there is no shortcut to greatness there is no shortcut to glory sacrifice has always been the non-negotiable condition the sacrifice of your commitment your life your resources your attention you may not have the best of of atmosphere and environment but there is a determination that superimposes those things for the sake of my generation i will present jesus are we blessed the things that pertain unto life and godliness there are some of us and it really grieves my heart as young as we are condition as we call it has taken away our focus from god there are some of us here early 20s yet you have to be sending something home god is calling you into ministry but the focus is not there the moment he's speaking here comes the bills here comes the whatever and you know that your poor aged mother who couldn't go to school our fathers many of them largely disobedient and proud people although they don't have any result you see that 
and they yoke all of that the average home right now has many relatives waiting for their elder brother to marry because he's the one who will continue the education for them if all you see is poverty you are not seeing well you must see an attack on a generation if all you see is sickness you are not seeing well you must see an attack look at the long-term effect of that a day will come our men will no longer go to church because they have to work all day on Sunday to add to it it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow so by the time the father is not there to raise the child the devil positions somebody who is now employed who now teaches that child it, it, whether the father is a pastor or a bishop is not the issue look at the children of men of God this is a cry and a burden that is boiling in my heart we must redeem not only ourselves but redeem a generation we must start thinking transgenerationally don't say you are too young if the entire scope of your life is just me my marriage my home my this no you must start thinking you see that when koinonia started this young boy seated here was in the loins of prophecy today he's now hearing you will be surprised one day now this small boy you see will be going to secondary school one day he will be writing jam and you will open your eyes and see that i made a mistake i cannot correct again many of us seated here the reason why our lives are delayed is because we have to pay the price that was made by our parents before we start building our own lives you've not even started building your own life yet you are paying a debt you know nothing about then when you are 50 and have paid then you now start your own life it's an attack listen to me very carefully it's an attack an attack on the integrity of God an attack on a generation that can seek God all these revelations that we dish out in the body of Christ will soon become useless if we ignore these things because there will be nobody to hear them again all the dimensions of heavens and the stars and the constellations we would talk to ourselves as men of God on stage while everybody runs around everywhere trying to make a living make a living is a cause there are many of our parents is in their deathbed they will confess that I was called to be a prophet to my generation called to be a prophet they would have been at the dimension of Benihim today. Imagine how many destinies would have been changed if they answered the call. But they were hijacked. And they only see the visions in their parlor. God shows them global events and they are there. No grace and influence to effect it. You read about these generals. Some of them can hold one year of prayer. You know, sometimes... Men of God hold prayer meetings. Is it not those who have eaten that will come? If I hold a prayer meeting five days in a week, Pastor Alpha, you're a lecturer. Except God grants you grace, should you can't be effective. You are only effective when you have options. And that's what Satan wants to make sure a whole generation does not have. No option. No option there is an attack on our generation we must open our eyes and see it this is not just the issue of money this is not the issue of influence this is the issue of the destiny of a generation the prophetic destiny the prophets labored in the bible and prophesied about our generation and they died not seeing this now we have come in the scene and many of us are just playing games with our lives doing the same old things that brought pain to us so that our own children will cry I want to serve the Lord not because I'm a preacher I want to serve the Lord because my life was meant to be a revelation of his glory I want to serve the Lord I want to be the one to coach my children not Sunday school son sit down let me teach you the Bible not police station teach my child how to live not a rehab center.
teach your child or daughter how to live is God speaking to us tonight I'm challenging you there is a serious burden in my heart if we do not arise for our generation let me tell you very soon you will be laboring on your child and the lawless children of another person who is not listening to what I'm saying will be there to become the strongholds we not only must care about our children we must care about our generation one child 90% of our children are influenced to be bad they are not bad on their own you are laboring to train them there is another godless man somewhere and they all meet in the same place and Cain dominates Abel and make our children feel sorry for being Christians you look at many of us here you are looking at me now look how ashamed you are if you are in the social sphere now you are in church you are jumping but once you are there are you drinking no i don't drink are you this no you and they look at you oh, what a child this guy his eyes have no and you feel so guilty for loving god and being attention and paying attention to him it's like the in thing now is rebellion you are a man to the degree to which you are stubborn lawless rebellious and proud that's what we are marketing to a generation that is the portrait of a superhero that our children are learning if you must be a superhero be rebellious be a bully be everything but a christian the average young child is not interested in church again again you invite them find out how many teenagers come for koinonia you'll be surprised there are young people there are old people but the teenagers don't come it's not because it's night they stroll around and then go around and do a lot of things and satan comes he wants to capture that generation but in the name of jesus christ there are people who will say no way there are people who will create a spiritual barricade that as the priest of my home no way satan there is no entrance huh that gentleman who was talking about aleko or whatever it is look at now that a time will come your child will be saying mommy we are from benway but what is that you say i settled it already don't worry it was well settled that that discussion just one day i will tell you about the story that once upon a time in our village people don't reach 30 but i stood as an altar and i settled it are we together And one of the deceptions let me begin to build my discussion tonight now one of the deceptions that I think God is granting me grace to connect tonight is what I call the danger of imbalance write it down the danger the catastrophic danger of imbalance it not only matters that we communicate truth it matters that the truth we communicate must be the whole counsel of god everybody say the whole counsel of god the whole counsel of god is a definition of all his intention everything he desires for a people within a time period to know about him represents the whole counsel of god for that dispensation and one of the things that you see satan playing out right now is an attempt to use religion as a tool that sponsors imbalance in our quest seeing then that he cannot stop us from having an appetite for god he now begins to sell imbalance to believers and let me tell you something brothers and sisters imbalance is as dangerous as falsehood imbalance is as dangerous as a lie let's examine a few things before i talk about imbalance i shared one time about three great errors that the lord revealed to me in the body of christ if you remember 
when we were talking about the body of Christ, let me do a quick recap. That the Lord began to reveal to me that there were three great errors in the body of Christ. The first error is found in 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. He said, the spirit speaketh expressly. The spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. We're examining the first error now giving heed to seducing spirits and then the doctrine of devils everyone say the doctrine of devils another word for this is apostasy apostasy a deviation from god's known pattern of operation apostasy the first error that the body of christ has to contend with is the error of apostasy listen to my message the apostate church apostasy a deviation from the truth and also a deviation from god's pattern two things there a deviation from the truth is called apostasy but a deviation from the pattern of communicating that truth is also apostasy even if the information is correct but the spiritual system of transferring it is wrong it is still apostasy are we together in God's dealings with men, both the information and the pattern are important. Not just the information. Don't just say the most important thing is that I'm healed. The most important thing is that I prosper. The most important thing is that I get anointed. No, sir, there is a predefined pattern. When God looks at you and you are doing business with God, what you got is not as important as how it came. Don't just say I was anointed don't just say i was prosperous don't just say i i got married don't just say i had a child god is obsessed with patterns that if you must host his glory then there must be a formation that must be according to pattern apostasy i teach that there are two dimensions to apostasy number one the communicator of the message himself not being of god that's the first dimension where they whether as a man of god as a businessman whoever attempting to communicate anything the plan from the beginning was deception intrinsically the communicator himself is of the devil there is such a possibility in the body of christ and in our environment not just apostate informations apostate people people who are not they were never never of god from the first place are we blessed and then number two the people the communicators of those truths may be genuine but the information they are communicating is a doctrine of demons you can be genuine sincere let me take ministry as a case study you can be a sincere man of god you love god you are not fake but the content of your communication is a doctrine that is not sponsored by the spirit of christ the bible says that some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and then doctrines of demons i can be a genuine man of god genuinely anointed by god but because of a system the bible calls seduction are we together now i can deviate from god's way of doing things and now become a communicator i am not fake but my message is not genuine both of these cases can be classified as apostasy so that's the first error the second error that i teach is the error of individualism also the error of indifference write it down indifference what we call i don't care attitude right individualism we don't think kingdom we don't think generational we think me so if a jimmy's leg is having a problem provided it has not affected me it's none of my business this is where many many men of god many many of we pastors pentecostals especially have missed it we have missed it big time in this area we are so individual individualistic we don't care about what is happening to the body provided my church 
provided my life is immune for, from it to hell with the body are we together yeah so if the danger has not come to meet me it doesn't matter if an armed robber comes to steal in a pastor's church nearby it was not my church it was not my member my kingdom financier was not robbed so pastor may god bless you if someone dies provided he's not a member of my church it's amazing how we leaders mentor people to deliberately select being in the body is not enough you must be associated with me to be able to enjoy certain benevolence that is meant for the body it's a poisonous spirit the error of indifference the error of individualism when god begins to build his army his system of operation is that he takes us beyond individualism and connects us as an organism if your leg is having pains your head can pain you because of the leg is that true um we're returning back from kano and we stopped at a filling station to get fuel and one guy was marketing a funny product you know these guys that market something at the filling station and he said um there's a the drug or the lotion whatever it is is for teeth <laughs> but you rub it on your leg <laughs> yes he said you don't have to rub the thing on your teeth you just rub it on your leg now that, that's a body consciousness at least i didn't buy it but he taught me that the leg is related to the teeth because we have been taught to apply drugs only where it hurts and leave other parts and he said no no let me show you another formula you can apply it in the leg but it can touch the teeth that means i can pray from zaria and god can preserve kenneth copeland because it is the body i can hear that there is an attack on a man of god and not say after all they don't listen say no no lord this whatever it is he's part of the body his integrity is our integrity as the body and lord arise in your mercy for your namesake but we keep becoming individualistic you as believers what is your pride our pride let me tell you the pride of our generation three things one revelation rema the extent to which you bring an exegesis of the truth and nothing is wrong with that right greek words hebrew words play around with all kinds of concordances and then dish out mysteries we love that two prophecy if i give you a prophetic word which is not bad three anointing and our definition of anointing is fall down not result fall down just make sure you hit that bench as a testament that the communicator is having something and so this erroneously become the pivot of our pursuit we're looking for revelation we're looking for an ability to communicate which is is is, is to be desired and then we're looking for an anointing to make sure when we step into a meeting people just fall up and down and when these things happen we believe that we are fine and we don't extend the scope of our alliance to god to extend beyond our personal comforts to think body in terms of administration you know i love koinonia thank god this is where he's planted me but in terms of the health of the church i am passionately concerned about the body of christ just follow me we are going somewhere tonight are we blessed the third error that i teach um, i have taught this already so is what i call exaggerated confrontation of error this is where it even gets sad exaggerated confrontation of error that means that error that is attempted to be corrected but not from a standpoint of love error that is attempting to be corrected from a standpoint of intrinsic intimidation by the supposed corrector now listen very carefully you see please come Jimin. can i use you Amen. when you see Jimin, one word you think wealth finances right well anointing too anointing no, at least last week you saw it praise god now watch this chances are that if god has called Jimmy to represent 
um, that dimension of maybe the Holy Spirit and finances to people. And I have a bias with finances, either as a result of men, my mentality or my frustrations. Two of them can cause the same thing. I can have a poor mentality or I can be secretly frustrated. Now, if there is an imbalance in Ejimi's life or his way of communicating that, chances are that because I was angry since, even before the imbalance came, now that I have found a scapegoat of a lapse in him, I will correct it in a way you know it was paining me. This is not, the point is not to correct. The point is to vent out pain. There is a big, this exaggerated confrontation is even more deadly than error itself. I once had a, well, somewhere a man of God was talking about those who were saying they teach people how to pray in tongues somewhere, you know, trying to be sarcastic. That man himself does not pray in tongues. He doesn't believe it. But there is no, there's no legitimate case for him to fight it. So he now routes through a church or a man of God that he sees teaching people. He now uses that one exception. This is how you know error is exaggerated. A man of God or a businessman or whatever picks one single error and robs it off beyond the proportion of his relevance. You know that the, the goal is not to sponsor correction. The goal is to help manage intimidation. Are we together now? So Ejimi talks about money and all of that and all of a sudden I'm there in my frustration. And I turn and I say, be careful. All these guys that just talk about money all the time. The truth of the matter is that I may be right in speaking about that unique situation. But it's not coming from a standpoint that wants to contribute to the health of the body. I am only communicating because I am intrinsically frustrated. Thank you, sir. Are we blessed? Some of us here seated looking at me have become victims even of this it tells on how we hate anointed people it tells on how we hate wealthy people are we together now yes and so we try everybody right now is in the ministry of correction that is the latest anointing that is going all around everybody is correcting everybody everybody once you have access to a mic and you can talk and people can hear you everybody is correcting everybody let me tell you this the greatest danger in the church now is not error the greatest danger is imbalance and this imbalance has come from this third point this is where i want to build my case tonight so pay attention so that you find out whether you are part of it and trust god to help you tonight everybody shout imbalance, imbalance. there is something about the limitation of Pentecostals that our Orthodox brothers and sisters capitalize on and use it as the basis why you should not be open to the things of the Holy Spirit. Then there are things that the Pentecostals use as their excuse for thinking an Orthodox lifestyle is too mean and basic and all of that. And all of them may have some sense of justification, but the truth is that there is an inner anger for one another just waiting for a legitimate excuse are we together now yeah whether it is an issue of marriage or finances or fidelity or issues that have to do with um, administration and leadership whatever it is how you know that correction is not coming from a sincere point is the exaggeration exaggeration i always say you use a, a hammer to kill a fly a simple tap on that fly it would die but when you use hammer you were angry it's not about the fly the fly just happens to be what the hammer is hitting obviously that hammer was not designed for the fly it's just that the fly got in the way of the hammer and boy will that hammer hit the fly there is a spirit of pride listen carefully it looks like it's coming from god but I'm exposing Lucifer. There is something Satan is doing in the, especially among we men of God, that God has privileged to have access to revelation and anointing and a dimension of the miraculous. 
pride is gradually eating us up because we believe that because of the little results we have we have authority by ourselves to correct everybody and everything every man of god is trying to show what another man is doing wrong everyone is trying to show that this is wrong why are you praying like this the other one will say you too why are you keeping quiet when you are praying the other one say what is the meaning of warfare the other one say keep waiting demons are coming see th let me tell you this let me tell you this listen very carefully listen carefully if we do not trust god to rise up and correct these imbalances we are going to authorize satan to destroy us god's goal is not to produce koinonia in all the earth if god gives me an assignment and says apostle through you the gospel will get to the ends of the earth he was talking to all the people who will come out spiritually and prophetically through my loins through there are ministries that will come out of me they are an extension of that instruction the idea is not to turn every believer in nigeria into koinonia it's a failed project from day one and anybody who knows god will never be part of that failed agenda so god is not glorified when koinonia has more members god is glorified when the kingdom advances listen very carefully because right now the entire scope of our soul winning agenda is sometimes is even sheep stealing i say this because i love the body you are sitting quietly taking fresh air someone comes to preach to you you say okay i'm already born again as soon as he's leaving you another person is coming say your brother just say it doesn't matter you just listen have you have you been given um, um are you are you aware of our church services he say yes he say come and the next time you see him look how people feel guilty and blackmailed because i invited you for koinonia you didn't come and you make it look like you are the worst sinner in the whole world you are just because you did not come that's not salvation that's pressure like banks give people target bring this by this month we have begun to propose some of those campaigns and we must be careful kingdom advancement is not the advancement of a name of a church is the advancement of the agenda of god in the hearts of men and across the spheres now it 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 is important that the individual ministries do their best to be the the platforms for people to be saved and equipped but that's not the idea there are people it's one of the reasons why pastors never invite people to their pulpit because someone comes and in two minutes before he preaches he has said almost 90 things about his church and sometimes some can even be sarcastic to downplay the church that now invited them you hear about people who go for conferences and before you know it while in that conference he saw a keyboard is playing well he saw a worshiper singing well and the man of god will collect their numbers travel back and now call them and begin to indoctrinate them you are you you sound too good your pastor doesn't deserve you come and join a moving train we say and then the member now leaves his church to join the supposed moving train and then we make it look like god is only with us it is pride let me repeat the idea that makes you believe you are the only representation of god in a territory is pride the day koinonia believes that we are the only and even the ultimate representation of god in this region is a sign that error has already eaten beginning from me to everyone may god forbid it are we together now yes this is the basis behind the show of superiority from men of god to churches to business people imbalance imbalance the the inability to construct the truth of god's word so that it becomes edifying to you and to the body now let me teach you something the dealings of god has a side effect watch this i've shared it here that if god calls me into the healing ministry watch this because of the character and the nature of my training are we together it will require a level of meticulousness in a dimension chances are that because of my concentration i will trivialize other matters of the kingdom too they are important but because they were not captured in my training process i will assume that they are not important are we together now so when i now come up this is the healing evangelist 
evangelist joshua selman and i'm healing and when i see somebody in another dimension is the reason why we reject certain ministries in the body because we have not been trained you see young people come and dance and while they are dancing someone is just waving his head and say what a wasted generation simply because the way god trained you that was not captured as part of the experience of the training so you can downplay it then to mean that these are not serious things when people come to church they sleep and snore every other time until the man of god comes in now the uh, god had been moving since praise and worship you were not taught to respect it a time of worship people are rolling on the floor god is speaking to people someone has received this breakthrough already but you were trained that until someone stands on stage so if the man of god now comes and starts rolling you say what kind of church is this you don't preach here yeah? I want you to listen to me very carefully why am i teaching you this because god is helping us to be a blessing to many others are we together in balance there are many people in the body of christ whose ministries have been strangled no room to find expression simply because the man of god who founded the church the experience of allowing those ministries to find expression were not captured in his dealings with god and so because of that the moment you see any other ministry that is outside your scope of understanding you fight it you abuse it you can call it of the devil you blackmail it amazing do you know why god limits you like this so that it is in partnership with other dimensions in the body you see how complete the body is you see that so if god has granted me grace to walk in a dimension of the teaching ministry and i don't walk say in miracles and sam come sam sam walks in the miraculous it is my identifying with sam it now supplies a dimension of god that i wouldn't have seen are we together now for sam the way god dealt with him it was just vision and power so when sam comes to the stage he said look stop all this grammar of bible study let's go straight to wheelchairs he is also in error he does not know it's just that his own nature of ministry is what is desired by the masses they want power immediately so chances are that you will see that in sam's church you receive miracles but there's no spiritual growth because the system he just the it was the god almighty god that was the revelation that was given to him for you the rabbi of rabbis that's what you got so you can sit down and teach one series for one year and then i reject you i say sam all it takes is mental transformation not power people need to be leaders and then sam is saying continue there you are watching your members crying what they need is power both of them god is with them but they believe god is not with each other you see that mistake please can i use you again please come and then all of a sudden this guy comes he's a leader he's an entrepreneur he's a businessman and i said look all these your business principles i laid hands on somebody a millionaire's child without knowing any finance thing and all of a sudden they gave me an estate all these things you are trying to teach people is nonsense teach them power and estate comes and the members ignore this principle and they find out that estate didn't come after 10 years the man is married now the preacher got an estate but the hearer didn't get it are we together now all three of them now chances are that a jimmy may be angry and say look at this guy power 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 let's see whether you ever rise to the government this is the fight now everybody let me tell you what satan does when satan wants to destroy you if he knows there's nothing he can do about your anointing he covers you from seeing the body so the only thing you see is your church and your performance and based on that he will now use supposed loyal sons to keep you in that state the power when you came into that meeting you know i like you you don't talk anything no verse said bible was not open straight to power and he said you mean it you were impressed he say yes now this is a group here 
hiding themselves and shortchanging themselves in imbalance yet they will believe that because the man sees visions he has the entire scope of what god is doing and then he will have the effrontery to now indoctrinate his members into believing that anytime you see our teacher man or anytime you see our businessman ignore them just get power and rest and that's what is happening so we have a congregation of people today who have no regard for the word of god turn to philippians you see them just snoring once you hear so, ah, 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 you see, that's right this is i mean we're we are in church now that's all people want and while that shout is going on the business guy says when you finish go and pay your rent shout roll on the floor your rent is the, the tribute collectors are there and you can't say he's not godly because he's rich and he's with part of the money your church was built so the pastor can't shout at him you know what it will mean to you look at the confusion now let me tell you no one of these three will admit they are incomplete it is one of the hardest things for men of god to do to admit that regardless of what they have seen they need to spread their horizon beyond the scope that was revealed to them to see the body it is in the seven lampstands that the fullness of christ was seen the seven lampstands i had a voice when i turned i didn't see christ i saw the complete church with all the dimensions when i saw the complete church i saw the fullness of christ if i had seen two of them i would see only his hands and think god is a hand then i see another church and see his eyes and think all to god is prophecy then i see another church and i see his legs and i think all in life is progress but the complete church revealed the complete christ is god speaking to us this is a revelation that will bless you beyond imagination and so Ejimi now organizes a seminar to correct people and gathers all his members and say look all those power guys don't mind them all those revelation guys the bible says money answer it that's the members answering him now all things whereas there's somebody dying in the hospital with cancer a millionaire that money cannot do anything about are we together now answer it all things and if any of his member dare ask him and say sir why don't the power of god work in you say are you stupid am i not rich is that no power you see that person becomes a disloyal person imagine how many of us are called disloyal for asking questions pastor we don't pray in tongues in this church but is it all right don't ever ask me i am this i am that don't go and join all those riffraff roadside prophets man of god is it okay if i meet a man of god to hear the counsel of god no the word is everything just focus on the word don't let any roadside prophet come and deceive you whereas that man is in utter confusion and five minutes of this ministry can correct 10 years in his life yes, many members would have moved forward if only they went to where the eyes of god is but they refuse because the pastor has the hand of god and they keep seeing the hand of god the hand does not see it only holds what the eyes see listen to me because many of us are starting ministry now some of us are in ministry some of us are leaders and already we are if we are not careful we're get, we getting into big error we've been mentored by all kinds of people that's why i see as a man of god if god gives you any influence over people go and pray and say lord let me not raise a people that will be defiant from your patterns I say it with all humility not to blow the trumpet of this ministry but by his grace koinonia has been part and parcel of the building and the lifting of many ministries as a person we have account numbers of many ministries that i'm not even connected to they are not my friends we could just hear that there is a program somewhere and say look we have to do something the other day i think dunamis came and they were opening their branch here our protocol department all of them they said no let's go and serve i said quickly make sure that anything that is needed let it be given my koinonia i am apostle i'm the owner of zaria god gave it to me it's my property now this is why men of god don't sleep 
this is why men of god yoke members with covenant swear that you will stay why will i swear why you change clothes why why shouldn't i i mean i i should swear that what no or we now make it prophetic god told me the day you leave me or the day you do this there is a cause where this is a lie there is no cause coming anywhere anywhere just because someone is falling down when we are saying it does not mean it's a lie there is no cause anywhere even god you can choose to leave him i said before you life and death why will somebody come and threaten you let me tell you the truth i love the body but it's a lie it's our insecurity it's not the holy spirit don't blame the, the holy spirit has no part in this people stay when they are changed people don't just become loyal to a leader foolishly don't you know that in the kingdom you keep things by leaving them hmm. whosoever keeps his life shall lose it whosoever keeps his members shall whosoever tries to keep money shall but whosoever loses it for my sake are you learning something thank you sir exaggeration now let me teach you something it is true that there are erroneous things in the body but hear me correcting the body of christ is a ministry you have to be called into it the same way god calls someone to be a prophet you are called is part of the apostolic and prophetic system of governance and it's not just every apostle and every prophet that is a corrector even among apostles and prophets there are rankings and dimensions not just because you're an apostle or prophet or pastor or teacher i am pastor so 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 i read in harvard i am no no sir we are misleading people there are spiritual conditions for you to have the authorization to be shown the weakness of the body let me tell you this you can observe what you think is the weakness of the body but god can show you what is the weakness of the body there is a condition to end that level of intimacy from god where god can show you this is where my body is weak correct it hey jimmy if your son or your wife feels down do you just walk to anybody on the street and say my wife my son has a little rashes here or my son has knife caught him here and you open your son's cloth do you do that you go to an authorized place called a hospital and even in that hospital you enter a room and if need be in that room you can pull up and you are comfortable because it is the authorized place where that matter is addressed if you pull your son's cloth on the road somebody will look at you and say man of god what is going on but if you pull your son's cloth there it is the place not every place is a place of correction let me tell you this there is a condition you must sustain as a man of god to be afforded the opportunity to contribute in correcting the body and that element is not prayer that element is not fasting that element is not even revelation that element is genuine love for the body not for god for the body you will never be given access to correct the body until you love that body you can't correct the body from the standpoint of hatred you can't correct the body from the standpoint of resentment you can't correct the body from the standpoint of error it's impossible if i hate keyboards and this guy is making a mistake i don't have the right to correct him because my correction will meet with a bias that has been there let me tell you this i travel a lot and you can ask those who travel with me i go to all kinds of churches and they do all kinds of things sometimes i am surprised when i see what people do in many churches my mind i say if i catch my child doing that kind of thing we will talk oh, we will talk seriously yet i am able to have the accommodation let me give you a secret if you look at christ in every church you will find him mm. let me repeat they went to a tomb where there was no life and found jesus there a tomb where there is no life yet when the woman kept looking she saw jesus in that tomb 
is it in your bible the living have nothing to do in the grave but a woman was determined to see jesus and although her location was the grave she still saw him so that dead church that you think your pastor is as dead as whatever the day your heart is humble and you know that the builder is not a man of god but the spirit of god one day in the confusion of your pastor he will say something that is the secret for your lifting now we who god has helped with little revelation little grace here this is what we do when we go to church we hold our bibles arrogantly and sit at the back we don't sit in front because the man doesn't have anything to say and then he comes as usual turn to the book of this and that and god so loved the world are you aware of this and someone is just nodding and say oh god i i would have listened to a message that would bless me what is this guy doing and wasting my time and you think what you are demonstrating is superiority because of spiritual level it's a sign you have fallen for the deception yourself because the higher you rise in the kingdom the more you know we are products of his mercy so while you stand there and watch the man of god ramble and make mistakes and quote wrong scriptures in the midst of it you what if you really look at jesus the holy spirit will start speaking to you and say truly there is this treasure in earthen vessels you say this man may not be so accurate yet he has been pastoring for 15 years and the members didn't leave him while you who has revelation is struggling to have 10 members and the god starts revealing to you you are now seeing jesus in that weak man that there is a grace upon this man one day in the midst of his confusion he would tell you t.l osborne came to lagos and he was part of those who were helping to hold his bag and t.l osborne touched his head you said that's where he got it pastor i know you don't preach well but i just found out you are carrying something i need touch me and the man said no are you who preach very well i was impressed said pastor you were impressed with my revelation but what i need now is what you carry there is no man of god that comes to my life that i cannot receive anything from no that's why i see some of our fathers i don't sit down and say oh revelation revelation there are places i travel to minister i already know that they may not have that level of word content but when it's time to pray i'm humble please reveal it to me many of us are about to lose it because if it is not a company of people who have your level of spiritual enlightenment they don't matter to you you will miss something because the greatest treasures you need will be hidden in that reverend that cannot speak english that reverend that is one day god will tell you go for the capro missions program i say lord me me that i'm looking to be yongicho what is capro how many will forest to go and win with soul when i can snap my finger i've learned the law of exemption and god says break your pride and follow them to that village you follow them to that village and you sit down and see a house reverend who has not been sick once for 22 years god will say this is why i brought you kneel down let him release something upon you before you carry your pride and be lying that you have not taken drugs for 30 years and die two weeks later out kneel down let that man give you something genuine let me tell you this one of the secrets of my spiritual growth is my open-heartedness towards the body not necessarily my perfection in pursuing god my open-heartedness that does not mean you jump at error no no when i discern grace i realize there is something this woman never built a house but she never went hungry she would tell you every pastor that rose up came and stayed in her house there is something you should receive there we are about losing that's why many of us do you know let me tell you one of the things with error once you stay in a dimension and don't open up to the body your area of strength will magnify and your area of lapse will become clear it will be clear that only your hands are growing but your head is remaining small it will be clear that you are growing in prosperity but your knowledge of god is diminishing it will be clear that you are growing in the miraculous but you don't have a heart for god by the grace of god i want to raise the balanced people that they can look at your life and see that the matters of life when they come to passion for god you are there prayer you are there not because i have all but i know how to bring all 
I travel somewhere and I see a man of God. Ah, apostle, you are the great man and your messages. While he's saying that, I'm observing. Lord, what do I see? This man has more character than me. I may pray more than him. But if we stand here and somebody is about to kill us, I would deny Christ and run. But this guy will stay and die. That means there is a grace for courage that I need. Our pastor is coming from Adamawa State. I had the privilege they invited me i've been there three times now sir yes three times and when boko haram struck 2014 sir am i right and destroyed those people in mubi it was that meeting that was like um it was a starting point for the churches again while i preached and saw the way they honored me i asked myself a question i said with all this mouth i make if i was part of the pastors that stood before boko haram will i denounce christ don't be too fast, say me. Uh -uh. Now there are protocol people protecting you. But there, a pastor can go out in the morning and say, wife, if you don't see me, just know that I died for Christ. That means there is a grace. You say the man is not praying in tongues, but you who is praying in tongues, you run away at a sound on your zinc. This guy is standing and watching a gun. Do you think it is normal? No. By faith, Abel offered. It takes something to offer yourself now a wise man will meet that man of god and say sir you may not have the grace to preach and heal like me but i see that there is a dimension revealed to you if i stay where i am i will raise sons that can pray but never stand for christ i need that grace i admit i don't have it i admit that dimension has been opened up to you i humble myself sir it does not make you small this is what we will never do as men of God. Our pride will never allow us. We will hide and listen to tapes in the secret. Hi. And some of you are already learning those kinds of things. You never see yourselves and celebrate yourself. That guy is Pastor Femi. Pastor Femi of where? Rema. Which, which Rema? Ah, please, I came into this town. I'm a man of God already. Who is this pastor this, of where under who no if you don't change from this a generation will show that there was a lapse of god that we did not tap into don't ever let anybody say the prophetic is not useful just because you found the word of god don't call every prophet a reef raff and a roadside prophet there is a dimension only prophecy can birth no amount of study can bring you there there is a dimension only mental transformation can bring so don't insult Mel Mel mensa otterbill and say oh these guys are just uh -uh. there is a dimension only joyce mayer can bring there is a dimension only benny Hinn can bring there is a dimension only dr lukoya can bring there is a dimension only papa kumui can bring you ignore Dr. Lukoya and demons kill you in your pride. You die the death of a fool before your time. A man who was the best in molecular genetics and left it. Left something, went to school abroad. Exceptional in molecular genetics. And came and humbled himself to carry the cross. And all of a sudden you see him. And just say, what is all these things? We even mimic them in laughter. And the demons say, thank God for such a foolish generation. Are we together? Then you see a man of God. Papa Iya Deboe can just stand. I'm mentioning names because I'm saying positive things about them. And because their fathers indeed. May God bless you. And you're like, I, I need fire. And you listen to td jakes and while he's moving keyboards are playing and moving and you just came out of seven days dry retreat like a skeleton almost dying i said what is this guy saying is it just to say you will come out that you can't say in one minute and while you are there in your pride slaves left africa and went to us god picks a man out of them and makes one of the best preachers you didn't ask how it happened when they traced his origin, they found out he's Igbo, a Nigerian. Mm. 
are you learning who have you resented because of imbalance some of us right now we love god but we have been we have educated ourselves into believing that some people in the body are not relevant for our growth i'm telling you you are already in imbalance especially if you're a man of god if you are hearing me and you're in this mistake change now change quickly never go back home and put men of god and keep bringing them one by one. Oh, this one doesn't have fire this one he doesn't have this ah this one i like his suit i like this one i like his this be careful there is one lord there is one faith there is one baptism there is something that joshua selman will never see even if i fast for 400 days it will not be covered by a demon it will be covered by god himself so that i will need a jimmy to see it there is something a jimmy will never see until he looks at a pastor toby or a pastor here in adamawa there was something about god i learned when i went to adamawa sir I, I say it i have never seen a level of generosity from people like that women some of them old enough to be my mother and you see i'll say it till today when i go to movie they see me they start jumping daddy oh yo yo people with doctors lecturers with such depth of humility i don't know if i can do that for anybody and while they do those things i don't sit down with my pride and say wow you mean they acknowledge me this far i sit down and say lord let this grace for humility that will be upon a man of 50 years before i now die in the next 10 years because of pride do you see that god has put the remedy for our fall in the body but because we could not tap into it imbalance is a destroyer there are many families today that have no business being in poverty if they would listen to those carrying the graces it's amazing that what we resent is what we secretly desire oh i prophesy your name is divine ah man of god and so yeah oh, these riffraffs divine whereas one day he tried to he said what's your name are you gabriel he said no i'm a jimmy and he just ah he said no he he wanted it secretly he was just too hot and then he said no what is not all about prophesying you must be careful most of the things people criticize they test it secretly when it becomes too hot they live as if nothing happened then they create a theology ah, ah, how can one person be praying for 12 hours life is not all about prayer that man has tried to pray secretly he, he thought it's just by energy the grace is not there so he sees someone fasting dry two weeks there's a man i know in abuja i don't know anybody that fasts on earth like him one day maybe when we were doing something in koinonia and he honors me a lot i'm sure i'll bring him one day to pray that man can go for um, no food no water not that you drink water in the night dry ah! if that man prays even standing close to him you will feel as if they are electrocuting you i literally mean it there is no deliverance case that gets to that man that goes back free Papa before i no, i'm serious i really am serious that guy has stretched this body and brought it under subjection the kind of power that is in that man's voice yet he will come to me like this and still kneel down sometimes i'm tempted to say stand up oh you better stand up and lay hands on me how you know you love the body is your outspoken celebration of the uniqueness in it the moment you are ashamed to celebrate the uniqueness in the body is a sign that something about it is intimidating you oh a beautiful song look how wonderful this guy's voice was when he was singing i was just listening to his speech i said who dash monkey banana let me try that thing i was in a Okuta. my voice ceased just because it was raining yes someone shouting are we together now don't forget for those of you who know a little about me i was once a music director i'm not naive musically 
But now I carry my pride and try what he's doing and that's the end of it. There's no koinonia for one month. So I can choose to respond to my frustration by trivializing him. And say it's not all about pitch. The most important thing is the message. No sir, we need the pitch too. Otherwise, recite a poem. Don't sing. It's not all about prosperity. Okay? Carry everything in your house and give to the poor. The blogger who is talking is using an iPad that he bought 250,000 and say it's not all about prosperity. Are we together? It's not all about money and there is a hot meal in your kitchen waiting for you and there are poor people there. It's not all about prayer yet you have intercessors in your church praying for you. So you know prayer is important. It's not all about fasting, yet people are fasting for you. It's not all about prophecy, yet you call and say, eh, promise, just find out whether God is saying something around this. I'm agreeing with you. It's just that I, I'm not, I had something I just want to, I won't tell you because I, it's pride. Just say, help me, sir. I'm trusting to hear something. I'm a man of God too, but there's, there's this, the vision is hazy. I'm not seeing very well. What is there? Does it mean you are not born again? A hazy vision is something that happens to everybody. Jesus touched people many times. Are we together? You must reject imbalance. The imbalance that comes in approaching the body. The imbalance in camping around a dimension as revealed to you. And ignoring the usefulness of what God has distributed in the body. You must sustain a fortitude tonight to embrace. There is something I've learned from our children that no adult can teach me. No matter how simple and well behaved you are. These children have taught something. They have taught me faith. They have taught me courage. Some of, do you know some of these little children are in prayer department? Am I right? Prayer department. They don't miss it. So if a child can be in a prayer department what excuse does an adult have Pray. you tell them i'll buy you sweets they won't forget they come back and say uncle my sweet they never ask whether you have the money because they expect you to be adult enough to check whether you have money first before speaking now you learn that thing and when god says i know the thoughts i think towards you like a child you don't start asking lord where will the uncle come from you stop learning when pride closed your eyes. May humility open it tonight. So that you can see what is going on. You see, that's why many of us don't know what God is doing in the body. We only knew what he was doing with us in our little corners. And we get up and say revival is coming when it has started since. Because you were not there. The virgins had oil. But they could not go to the market. There were others who had in abundance. But the foolish virgins did not get more. A time came their own finished. They had their own oil. But they would have gone to get some more. The same way Joshua Selman has anointing. But I need to get some more from Benny Hinn. I need to get some more from Kenneth Copeland. I need to get some more. Because the challenges in the future. At this my level of anointing will eat me as if I'm not anointed. So I will not allow the pride because of the level god has brought me now believe that i can stand benny Hinn's kind of challenge so i need the grace so i will listen when pastors come to me for counseling there's nothing that humbles me more than that and some of those people are anointed people dr luca and dr john sent me a text and they said apostle we are coming over and I said, oh dear, I love you. When I was told, I was told that since around 4 a.m. or so, this is the assistant chaplain. He's also a man of God himself. But he came here since around 4 to sit down. What is there about a man? The veil has been torn and it tears and you, you don't enter. The veil has been torn, you are still poor. The veil has been torn, you are still this. Whereas you can humble yourself and say, every house is built by some man. But God is the builder of it all. There are people who must assist you in life, otherwise you will never rise. It's not pride. One of the things that God helps me to do at the beginning of the year, 
I go and our daddy escorts me to go and meet the pastors of CGC. I go and greet them and get down on my knees. With just a little, I honor them and I get down on my knees. And the pastor and his wife, they speak and prophesy over me and lay hands over me. I won't come and say, see crowd. No, there is a grace. If I were their age, I don't know if I would submit to a small boy like this. So Lord, help me before this pride that comes with middle belt and kill me where we don't have anything yet we make a lot of noise lord deliver me from it so that i can look at one of these our little ones tomorrow and say apostle i saw myself laying hands on you and i said do it the girl is shaking i said i said do it and she lays hands and from that day you enter a dimension of revelation you can sit and say god forbid transfer it to another adult let me receive it from the adult and god says you will never get it that way are you blessed yes imbalance is dangerous is why we have not seen i remember years ago i tried to pray for a woman i think somewhere in abuja also i can't remember i prayed for that woman i have never felt helpless before a sick body like that day you know how you pray and you know that there's no hope of that prayer being answered under that condition i couldn't feel any anointing the woman just stood there it saddened me i encouraged this woman koinonia no koinonia had not even started it was just about to start i said lord how can a man be this helpless i came in your name bragged in your name if you see the scriptures i was quoting quoted this 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 the kingdom of god is not in word but in power and all that there was no power yet the bible say in my name i did it it didn't work that meant i need to submit to somebody who has the eyes of the spirit to tell me what the bible was saying because it's clear i did not get what jesus was saying are we together and yet i watched benny Hinn climb up the stage before he raised one worship song 40 wheelchairs 40 brothers and sisters this thing is not magic if you don't have it find it because it is there if it is not in your life it is not missing it only requires the humility to search you desire the prophetic and it's not in your life it is available it will take your humility to search man of god i have prayed but i know god has directed me but i do not know whether or not god is calling me to kogi or lafia and the moment you are talking the lord just tells the person lafia and he says the lord is sending you to lafia in one minute the word of the lord came because of your humility to align instead of fasting for 100 days and you hear lafia just when you round up the fast you hear a quiet bomb and as soon as you round up the fast you hear just you see that whatever is a limitation to you we are going to pray please listen carefully whatever is a limitation to you the word limitation is relative everything you need is already resident within the body if your life is poor god did not make it so you ignore the grace that conveys that possibility if your prayer life is dead it is not god's will you have ignored the end voice that he has put that supply of the spirit upon if you do not have access to the deep things of god it is because pride has made you to take away the relevance the necessity of the word of god i look at people and with all humility i know they have stopped growing they've not backslidden but they put a peg around their lives simply because they cannot open their door and say oh god bring in other dimensions that are not here they stood there and you know that's not their best that's not their greatest hallelujah praise the lord tonight is my prayer that god will deliver us from the error of imbalance that we will escape the danger of imbalance 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 that we will not trivialize the dimension of god that is required for our lives 
all dimensions cannot be in your life but all dimensions can work for you listen carefully all dimensions cannot be in your life it's impossible but all dimensions available can work for you meaning that it's impossible for me to be as prophetic as ever as apostolic as ever as evangelical as ever no there is the limitation that god puts i can't be benny hin and kenneth copeland and joyce mayer and td jakes and bishop oyedeko and papa Ia Deboe at the same time with the same degree no sir i have to be one of them but i can enjoy what is on bishop oyedeko papa adeboye benny hin i can enjoy it through the humility of participations the word koinonia sharing together the ability to extend your hand through humility to say sir i have seen the dimension of god's grace in your life and i'm open to let it work in my life and honor becomes the key to that access and all of a sudden you find out that what was a mountain to you is trivialized under a certain kind of grace people have prayed for me in my life i have been a product of many people's prayers i have been surprised at how powerful the body of christ is i have prayed for people and sometimes i look at what they call a mountain and i am shocked because i know how easy that problem can be solved and in my mind sometimes i wonder where, where were you why did you allow it to get this bad before locating the body for help are we together there is something tonight that you need in God for you to move to the next level that is not yet in your life but it is available and for many of us the error of imbalance has made you to think that because your life cannot produce it it cannot be produced so you just say if it was for me god would have brought it directly through me and just because it didn't come directly through me then it's not important please hear me prosperity is as important as healing healing is as important as prayer prayer is as important as visions are we together salvation is as important as mental transformation mental transformation is as important as your health and hygiene stay in your area of calling but do not allow imbalance make you trivialize what god is doing god is not only working in koinonia brothers and sisters god is working across zaria god is working across the north god is working across africa it is only a privilege for us to be at the level that we are now in his program it's a privilege for us to be contributors that's the word contributors that you can come and listen to the supply of the dimension that god has put in me of course administratively speaking it it is important for you to be able to stay in your area of whatever ministry or whatever church you are part of for the purpose of administration and leadership however let me tell you the truth any man that indoctrinates you into camping around him alone and all the dimension revealed to him whether in the name of mentorship or fatherhood has deceived you if i am your spiritual father it means you have taken you have come under my authority but it does not mean that i represent all of christ to you i represent the voice and the speakings of god in your life but i must have the flexibility to allow you grow and this is my goal god knows i get materials that have nothing to do with me I send it to people in the ministry listen listen to it this will bless you it bless me so much are we blessed we are going to pray father my my father would have prospered if only he listened to that prosperity preacher he said prosperity preachers are rubbish now my father is an evangelist who has lost his house although a preacher of the gospel lord my arrogant business partner father would have been such a man of prayer and he would have seen that accident before it happened 
but he ignored it because he thought everything was money and he neglected the place of prayer and evil came sat in our house and there was no eyes to see and nobody to manipulate things from the realm of the spirit and we died that death was not caused by god the refusal to tap from what god is doing close your eyes until there was destruction there's nobody to help me in school no if only you listen to the person that god used to say go to this church you would have found somebody who would have sponsored you it is your refusal because you never believe that there are people kind enough to sponsor you without strings attached and your imbalance did not allow you to tap into that dimension tonight i want us to start with a prayer of repentance lord forgive me for trivializing your other dimensions scattered across the body thank you for what you have shown me as a man of god lord forgive me for insulting business people forgive me for calling prosperous people wasters of your time lord i forgive me for calling prayer warriors hungry noisemakers forgive me for insulting deliverance forgive me for insulting the prophetic i ask for mercy for insulting people who transform the mind in the place of prayer forgive me for thinking those who are the the personal development experts are useless to your agenda forgive my ignorance that has come through imbalance this imbalance has cheated me and my life has lost the flavor that should be go ahead and pray the reason why i am not blessing all things is because imbalance has pecked a dimension of god from my life if i opened up myself to the healing ministry i would have carried that healing anointing my church would have been a church that experienced his healing i rejected the prophetic and now confusion is destroying my life lord i ask for mercy i've exaggerated the prophetic and I've left the word of God. Now I've gotten into witchcraft and error. I've become a slave to prophets. Have mercy on me. And let me return back to the word. I've been so obsessed with power. And signs and wonders. That there is no place for spiritual growth. Being grounded and established in the word of God. All I look for now is power. Lord have mercy. Take away that imbalance from my life outside make sure you are praying everywhere pray the error the danger the destructive calamity that imbalance brings lord i've ignored the anointing and all i do is just an empty theological bible study without the power without grace so my church my business my family has no genuine anointing Lord, I open up myself to the dimension of authentic power. Lord, I rejected excellence. I thought it was just about prayer and Bible study and healing the sick. I rejected excellence. Now all my TV programs are not accepted because they don't match a level of excellence. I have wasted resources because of lack of excellence. There are certain partners and helpers that excellence would have drawn to my ministry but lack of excellence threw, threw them away I received that dimension pray hallelujah hallelujah we are going to pray there is not maybe not in koinonia but I observe the body of Christ and I see a widespread of prayerlessness people don't pray again pray for me that's the language of people oh you are going for please pray for us so and people don't pray you know why because in a bit to balance this we have insulted every prayer warrior insulted anyone any church that prays oh, these are just noise makers it's all about money and we have found out that there is no sensitivity in the body no discernment People don't pray people don't travel gone are the days when you see people lock themselves somewhere and cry to the God of heaven 
now people fast and all they just want cheap things oh man of god let me sow a seed just touch my head there are some things it's not just by impartation you must stay and cry upon the horns of the altar till something falls upon you from heaven we are going to pray one prayer and say lord what dimension is needed for my next level open me up unto it oh god lift your voice and pray lord if it is the prophetic that will take me to my next season then i open up my spirit for it if it's the miraculous that will take me to the next dimension if it's a healthy mental transformed mind lord i receive that dimension are we praying please if it's a restoration of fire upon my altar that is the requirement for the next dimension i receive it if it's the knowledge of administration and excellence that i need lord balance my life lord balance my life balance my church balance my business balance my understanding balance my life balance my life take away from me the sarcasm for prophets take away the sarcasm for bible study take away the sarcasm for prayer take away the sarcasm for diligence and lord let me incorporate these dimensions as coming from you hallelujah but i need you to know that beyond the miracles hear me everyone inside or outside god is calling you there is an experience that is bigger than receiving things from god there is an experience that is bigger than job bigger than money bigger than wife bigger than business bigger than ministry bigger than power bigger than healing bigger than deliverance it says he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty hallelujah in john 21 from verse 15 you can just write it you don't need to turn there remember the disciples were walking with jesus christ i've told you in our previous teachings that the disciples were not following jesus because they loved him they were following him because they wanted to shine is that true because they were the disciples of john the baptist before jesus came is that true when he came and he was the new superstar what happened there was a migration is that true and they all came there and they were happy eventually the motif of their heart began to be tested and they came and they said jesus we have left everything to follow you what is our court in this deal hallelujah can you help me to handkerchief please praise the lord Thank you. praise god and then the bible tells us listen please the bible says that when they caught jesus remember when the people came to carry jesus christ they thought he was going to wave his hands bind them and do a lot of things and when he offered himself what happened to them they ran away everybody peter tried he got to a point he said i've tried it was only john that was there at the cross so when he resurrected peter went back to his fishing the disciples said we go with you and in, in 21 verse 15 he looked at peter jesus now and he said simon peter lovest thou me more than this what are the these matthew 33 hallelujah jesus began to speak and he said a lot about uh, sorry matthew 6 i'm sorry don't you don't have to turn there we're out of time we have to rush matthew 6 from verse 33 offers verse 32 really he said for the gentiles seek after these things what are the things you go to the previous verse 31 talks about food to eat clothes to wear god knows you need these things but he's asking you lovest thou me more than this there are certain people if god puts a husband and he puts himself before he finishes going to his place you run and carry the husband and say thank you jesus i really appreciate you you are a very nice man i like this kind of god or 
if God puts money, the worst one is money. There are many of us, as God is putting, you can say, let me just die there. Take my life, but let me fall down this morning. Hallelujah. God will keep screening your heart until he finds out he is the king of kings in your heart. See, this is why some people get things cheaply in life. God knows that whether they get it or not, it no longer has influence on their, rela on his, on their relationship with him. So he can freely give to them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say, I love the Lord with all my heart if you are not yet convinced don't worry you don't have to say it but before the end of the service make sure you are convinced that you need God beyond what he can give he, he can give you hallelujah your passion for God must exceed the miracle you want to get number two this may come as a shocker for many of us the second point the Holy Spirit laid in my heart and I think this is probably why, please listen, many believers in the body of Christ do not get to experience the reality of the blessings of the Lord. God told me something that shocked me. God's love for you is unconditional, but his promises are conditional. God's love for you is unconditional, but his promises are conditional. You always have a role to play to access the blessings that are promised in scripture. Listen, many of us get carried away by the fact that God loves me. If he wants to bless me, he will bless me anyway. If he wants to heal me, he will heal me anyway. If he wants to deliver me, he will deliver me anyway. That's a misguided teaching about love. God's love is unconditional. But as far as accessing his promises, and accessing our inheritance in Christ are concerned, we have a role to play. Are you, are you understanding me now? Romans 5 verse 8 talks about the fact that while we were yet sinners, we have to rush really. Help us Holy Spirit. Romans 5 verse 8 says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Unconditional. We didn't do anything. Hallelujah. He just went to the cross, died and shed his blood for our sins. But look at Deuteronomy 28. From verse 1, Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. Thank you, Jesus. It shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, not if thou shalt wish in your room, if thou shalt do what? hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord to observe and to do that means there is something you must do are you getting me so Jesus paid the price but to walk in the reality there is a role I, I don't know how I can sound this to the body of Christ that it is not all up to God and it is not all up to you this is what koinonia is about partnership there is a role you must play. If we keep deceiving ourselves that he has done everything. Oh, hallelujah. He has done it. It's working. It's not working. There are principles. The Bible says it shall come to pass if you will hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee. Then this blessing shall come upon you and shall overtake you. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 6, verse 1. Again, we apologize for those outside. Please just listen. Deuteronomy 6. very powerful scripture many of us love this scripture because of what it says hallelujah verse 10 it says and it shall be when the lord thy god shall have brought thee into the land which he swear unto your father abraham to isaac and to jacob to give thee great and godly cities which thou buildest not say amen 
and houses full of good things which thou fieldest not and wells dig which thou diggest not vineyard and olive trees which thou plantest not when thou art eaten and you are full all right these are the blessings we like claiming it oh i'll get a house i didn't pay for i'll get this and that which is true is true but the bible always put conditions when you read from verse 13 to 15 we really don't have time for that it says that thou shalt fear the lord you will serve him there are things you will do and you shall swear by his name and then verse 14 says you shall not go after other gods the gods of the people which are around you last verse 15 it says for the lord thy god is a jealous god lest the anger of the lord be kindled against you and it destroys you from the face of the earth there are conditions are you getting what i'm saying these conditions are encapsulated in what jesus christ called the keys of the kingdom the keys the bible says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries an opening of the operation of the kingdom hallelujah even favor this favor we talk about how many of you know like nigerians like favor which is good honestly favor is great if the favor of god is not working in your life something is wrong but do you know that it is the outworkings of favor that has nothing to do with you it takes an operation to initialize its working in your life for instance the gift of a man makes room the making room and bringing him that's where favor is but that gift must be in place are you getting the point now there's no man in scripture except a few people and that was because of certain covenants people like mephibosheth but the bible talks about daniel it was an excellent spirit that brought him out joseph it was his ability to interpret dreams so favor doesn't just drop around like that there are things that initiate it unfortunately in the body of christ we like receiving things without finding out the condition and our justification is god loves us Are you getting blessed god hammered this in my spirit so while you are seated tonight there are many of us what you need tonight is not prayers really what you need tonight is an understanding about how to get the thing that you really want uh, the principle that governs its operation hallelujah are you following me so the love of god is conditional yes ago i had oyedeko hammering on this thing this is what he calls the covenant you know i've been a controversial person concerning this covenant thing there are many teachings about covenant i don't believe We'll explain that i've i've, I've done a, a few teachings i understand when you teach about covenant meaning that you have a role to play and god has a role to play that's a balanced view of covenant but when you teach covenant in a way that removes the mercy of god is no longer an understanding because god is working with man psalms 8 says he knows that we are dust are you getting me there is a misguided teaching on covenant that makes people to blame God and insult God and makes it look like if you don't do it you are not God hallelujah there's no time I would have shown you from scripture remember Jesus gave a parable of somebody that went that the vine dresser was calling to go to the vineyard early in the morning and they agreed they had a covenant for a denary they went to the farm and they were walking they didn't go because they loved the man they went because they had an agreement correct at the at noon time he saw some other people sitting idle he said why are you sitting idle he says no man employs us he said go and walk no negotiation they went because they loved him up to the 11th hour is that true they still found others and they went no negotiation are you getting my point when it was time for him to pay them he started with those who went those who had started in the morning he gave them a denary 
and then he turned to others that didn't give him condition he said now since you have allowed me to choose my blessing i give you the same wage and it annoyed those other people so there is a dimension of your work with god that is beyond covenant is if i perish i perish i love you beyond this thing are you getting my point that teaching of saying if i give god a he must give me b is not accurate whether god gives you b or not are you getting my point if you can put that to your concept of covenant it becomes balanced otherwise we are going to have a bunch of hypocrites in the body of christ claiming they love god god i gave you five naira you promised me ten naira i'm still waiting if it does not come you are not god i will announce to the whole world that you are not faithful have you had people say that i will drop my mic and stop preaching ah that's not accurate i love him i know that he is faithful to do this but even if he does not do it my commitment bible faith that works right and there is another concept that was a product of hunger and dimness of light and this is what many people advocate and they call faith hallelujah there are so many people who are not practicing what the bible calls faith and we'll look at it very in fact this one i just had this two to share but in the afternoon the lord just pressed this thing in my heart i want to define faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction about god his love for you his integrity and his ability i'll come again faith is the name given to the action the action you take based on your conviction please if you have not been listening now is the time to wake up don't let the devil cheat you this is this is the bottom part of this teaching before we start ministry praise god the action you take based on your conviction about god his love for you his integrity and his ability faith is the name given to you the action the action that is taken your action not your intention or wishful thinking is called faith many people call wishful thinking faith many people call hallucination and imagination faith this is metaphysics are you getting my point now there are people who have all kinds of jargons on the walls and the room of their houses and they are not satisfying the scriptural conditions to be become these things and we read a lot of books that say sit down wake up in the night just look at it let it enter your subconscious be careful there is a balanced view about the power of imagination and there is an erroneous occultic new age metaphysics understanding that is leading people into derision are you getting my point now faith is action everybody say it listen if you have not yet taken action you have not manifested faith i don't care what else you have done listen please if you get this revelation many of you as this word is coming you will walk out of your sick body at once because of the power of this revelation i will show you from scripture help us holy spirit which word is correct now wow i have to rush There is no faith without action. Impossible. There is no faith without action. Hallelujah. I always give an example. Um, let me use somebody. Mike, come. I'm going to call this gentleman. Please, everybody concentrate. When I call you, say you are coming, but don't come. Mike, come. What did I ask him to do? he's saying he's coming did he come mike come and take if you can live where you are and come here by reason of your trust take this is what a lot of believers are doing we start dreaming nonsense thinking we are manifesting faith 
there are conditions god is saying fulfill that condition and take we are busy standing and saying oh i know i just know i know it will happen no it doesn't happen that way bless you sir everybody say faith is the action taken based on my conviction of god's word his love for me his integrity and his ability that action is what the bible calls faith are you getting something tonight this is an eye opener for many people because you will see that what a lot of us are calling believe 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 is not true we are not manifesting faith faith the faith life does not make you an idiot we have done this faith thing to become as if we are foolish people read your bible those who walk in authentic realms of faith did not behave the way we are behaving hallelujah let me show you a few scriptures matthew chapter 9 if you can help us very quickly media matthew chapter 9 from verse 18 to 22 remember the woman with the issue of blood just write it and look up matthew 9 from verse 18 hallelujah uh let's just go to 19 and jesus arose and followed him and so did his disciples verse 20 and behold a woman which was diseased with the issue of blood how many years 12 years came behind him and did what she did what she came and took action is that true she did something based on a conviction that she had what was the conviction 21 for she said within herself that's where many of us stop is that not true oh i know if jesus passes here if i may but touch his garment while she said that she was waiting when she saw jesus she said crowd protocol fire this night the bible says as she touched it do you know if she did not touch him that's how she would have remained like that is that true and that will make jesus look as though he was not powerful see in action is the missing component in our faith equation we do every other thing but take steps as simple as what i'm telling you is is the reason why many people will never be delivered many people will never be healed many people may never experience the blessings of god another story john 5 from verse 5 to 9 remember the impotent man very interesting story john 5 jesus always demanded action john 5 and a certain man was there which had infirmity how many years 30 and 8 years is that true look at me he never got healed because he did not take action is that true verse 6 we have to run and jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been there a long time in that case he said unto him will thou be made whole verse 7 the important man started giving all kinds of explanations verse 8 like many of us are giving and jesus said unto him look at me how can jesus tell a man who has been lying down for 38 years who cannot move he said rise take in other words prove your conviction by doing something you have never done 38 years jesus is not an idiot he sees a man lying down just to move to a pool close to him he could not move for 38 years now jesus says you claim you trust me if you believe i'm the messiah stop giving me that grammar rise up in the moment you take the action the power of god comes in it does not take a long time this is faith the action you take based on your conviction let's look at a few more mark 2 mark 2 mark 2 verse 1 to 12 but let's just look at verse 4 mark 2 verse 4 we have to hurry up this is already the miracle mark 2 verse 4 listen 
when they could not come nigh unto him for the press they uncovered the roof look at me jesus was holding a crusade is that true is that true those sitting outside say amen so the bible says there were people packed full inside and outside like this is that true and jesus was teaching and certain people were desperate and they said today you have been a liability to us you must stand up we are not ready to take you back home and the bible says when they came they saw the crowd the people said the owner of this house we will negotiate after the miracle but for now they got do you know what it means jewish do you know how jewish houses were made they were made with mud you would have to break through look at what the bible says they uncovered the roof that was and when they had what they broke it jesus was just sitting down and he had some people hitting i'm sure others were saying don't disturb or say keep talking i will keep manifesting faith when i get what i want i can tell you sorry the, listen 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 the bible says wherein the sick of palsy lay i want to show you something that will shock you now next verse please ay, 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 ay. when jesus so what what was their faith their action their action that that step they took based on their conviction the bible says faith can be seen it's not some metaphysical thing i can know whether you have faith by the degree of your adherence to the principles i can see it and know whether your faith is working you you can't fool us and say i have faith if you have faith see james said show me show me your your works without faith and i will show you my faith through the action that i'm taking what does that mean that you came here with cancer do you believe the lord will heal you yes i believe that's why i came that's good step one when the word of god comes that's the time to shake off cancer from your body and say cancer you had the prophetic word shake it off don't just sit down you are wondering no two more scriptures quickly Luke 17 this is an interesting one the story of the ten lepers verse 11 let me show you the dynamics the spiritual technology that is responsible for the miraculous I pray that your eyes will be open to see verse 13 please let's hurry up listen the bible says there were 10 lepers who have been discussing is this how we will continue Abi, people will come and drop offering or whatever for them and the bible says they had that means they had been they had received an assurance that jesus was able to do it is that true now watch what happened this was their first manifestation of faith when jesus was passing what happened they lifted up are you getting me now and they did what the bible did not say they lifted it and just they just whispered to lift up means they shouted and they said jesus master you know jesus doesn't walk alone i'm sure his peers were saying hurry up they said we may be crippled but our mouth is not crippled we are going to shout till we get your attention listen did jesus respond that's how he will always respond when we manifest faith next verse and when he saw them he said unto them listen hi i love jesus goodness he just said the only reason why you are calling me is because you think i can help you if you really believe stand up go and show yourself as simple as that no grammar of saying okay if i said this then this should grammar that thing we do is not called faith if you take action god is committed listen the bible says and it came to pass watch this as they this is the dynamics listen i want to explain something powerful here as they they were that means their being clean was tied to their going as they they were this sign shall not go before if you prove god sent you start moving and he said the signs the signs 
will follow those who can act this is why we are here tonight hallelujah just one last scripture and then we'll pray goodness my spirit is fired up john 9 let's look at one example of one blind man john 19 verse 1 to 8 but we'll just look at verse 7 jesus came look at me there are so many interesting people that do lots of things in church do you know that there are people that when they come when hands are about to be laid on them they say don't lay hands on me just speak you are a sick patient the doctor said turn for injection you say i don't like injection walk out of the hospital as simple as that when there's a way the sickness will press you that even if the syringe is the type they give a cow you say just give me When you still have options you are not yet pushed to the wall look let me tell you there is a way life will push you to the wall that you must react are you getting my point verse 7 are we there john what did i say john 9 not 19 9. listen look up please let me just tell the story quickly remember the man who was born blind the bible says jesus spat on the floor correct and he started making clay i can imagine the well, the man could not see now watch this Hiya, i love jesus jesus inspires me i'm telling you he said unto him to who the blind man jesus was not talking to the person who was holding his hand he spoke to the blind man he said oh god go wash in the pool of silo which by interpretation is sent and the bible says he went his way therefore and washed and returned see how will jesus speak to a blind man oh yeah i've done my own part if you like sit down here for one week if you are interested go and wash remember what the prophet told naaman he said go to jordan and bath while he was giving all those confessions i will not go i will go i will not go he said continue if you want to manifest faith carry two of your legs march to jordan he was saying are there no other river this is many people think it just stops at talking 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 naman was talking rapping standing in front of elijah's he didn't even come out he said tell him go and wash and do it seven times he went there it was a very muddy water hallelujah bath the first time nothing happened he was getting angry but when the word is fulfilled god is committed i can imagine the holy ghost just roaming around that pool number two he could not move because until your obedience is complete number three the guy could not move at a point he would say oh god he said seven times seven seven that was the word number five he would have just left and gone back and the holy ghost would say two more times for my spirit to come in listen the bible says the moment he entered the seventh time he just came out and he saw his skin that means the holy ghost was waiting anxiously you do your part you do your part and see the power of the highest you do your part and see that cancer melt you do your part and see that curse broken in your family hallelujah at the beautiful gate there was a man there the bible says he begged for arms is that true peter and john went to pray at the hour of prayer and the bible says he was begging them he was not begging to stand up because he did not believe are you getting me so he had no reason to take action because he was not convicted but peter did something because faith comes by hearing when you hear of someone's ability he said mr man i don't have money to give you but there is something i have in the name of the lord jesus if you believe i have this he said stand look up the man sat down there and was looking at them and was wondering and peter remembered the teachings of jesus and the bible says peter held his hand and said stand up and the bible says he leaping he leaping he leaping 
the Holy Ghost was moving Peter get this man to take a step in every area of life listen there is a role you have to play are you getting me there's no time I would have shown you how that for every area of your life when the word came in Samaria by this time tomorrow nothing happened but the power of God was moving waiting for those who would take action all the people in the land including the emojis did not go and the spirit of God went to four lepers they said we will stay here and die we are lepers but let's stand up the Bible says when they went the, the enemy started hearing the sound this is the amplification of the spirit the sound of chariots until there is action you are not manifesting faith if you can get this teaching tonight by the time you are coming for February miracle service you will be shocked because see this as simple as what I'm sharing is this is the missing link you are praying and fasting but you have not found out the conditions for prosperity it's not demons it will not change till the day you find out and walk in it are you getting what i'm saying there are keys that's your part when you see listen i submit to you with all humility are you seeing this crowd that are gathered they did not come by magic if you think it's by magic try it people are not idiots are you getting my point i said by with all humility i hope it doesn't look like i'm bragging i'm just trying to communicate a point do you know what it means for people to come and sit on the fence sit everywhere there are keys if you don't have it you don't have it but when you find it i can imagine the holy ghost based on the conviction he gave us while we started preparing as decoration was working the power of god said now you are responding based on what you believe i'll do tonight therefore let me begin to bring all the people to honor the word don't you see that this is how faith works listen there are many people who will never marry because they are waiting until the day a sponsor or a donor gives them two million god has spoken to you marry in june how much do you have hundred thousand but god said start moving he said hey lord I these girls parents the way they looked at me that day what is your business this sign shall follow the moment you are going your uncle starts calling and says i just felt like calling you he did not just feel the holy ghost the one who confirms the word hallelujah listen the sister who gave a testimony about the change in her result imagine if they prayed for her now a prophetic word had come is that not true she sat down she said lord i believe your word what did she do she got up as she was did you see that when they checked they did not find a paper but god said am i too small and you just dropped the paper on the table did you not hear the testimony listen when you play your part i'm telling you in an inexplainable way god is committed and tonight i want you to know that your part is to have come see i tell people with all humility that for coming to this ground alone is already 50 percent of your problem so you know why hold on if you know the demonic forces that as many people hear what happened this morning and the way the devil tried to stop them from coming many of you will agree with me that things came up some of you didn't even have money but you said if it means trekking i will trek while you were trekking the holy ghost was saying mark them mark them practitioners of the world they must be blessed tonight some of you came outside and you still sat down your friend said let's go back you said i'm not going back you can go but this night although i'm outside my ministry must change my business must change this cancer must die rise up on your feet everybody go ahead and pray in tongues in one minute god is about to do mighty things in this place rise up on your feet everybody 
Rekete ka ba 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 ba. Sekete le ka ba 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 ba. Zembros kele ba 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 ba. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I'm convinced that you are able. You can change my story. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Please listen to me. I tell you the truth. I came here tonight with a very unusual unction. I know the things that I've been, the head of department, prayer band, he even sensed it. I remember he sent me a text. Hallelujah. When the Holy Ghost is in a place, nobody can tell the extent of devastation he can do to the kingdom of hell. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, no matter how far you are, make sure tonight, as you hear the word, listen, I don't know the issue that you came here with. I can only communicate the few because of time constraint and because we see in part i must not mention your case are you getting what i'm saying this atmosphere carries an anointing so no matter how far no matter what the issue is it will bow it will bow tonight hallelujah listen listen as i begin to rebuke sicknesses we're going to be very fast we don't have time for a lot of things hallelujah god assured me that there will be dramatic dramatic instant healings dramatic instant healings now listen please When we begin to pray, I don't know if we'll call the people out and lay hands or whatever it is we will do. Make sure, remember the teaching, you must take action. You must take action. That action, look at what our mommy shared. Remember the, the, the testimony our mommy shared. Do you know that we brought, I sent that they should bring a seat for her. What? She refused. As a proof to the devil. Are you getting my point? That, that I may be old, but I'm well. Are you ready to drop those chains now? There is no need. Please hear me. There is no need tonight to walk away with whatever situation. For there is a name. There are families represented here tonight. Tonight you will pass the Red Sea and you will part with Egypt forever.
time for people's lives to change. Break every chain. Break every, Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. There are families under bondages, yokes. There are many of us who have come under spells. It's time for us to check those devils out of the lives of people because the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession Hallelujah. I tell you, if you see what the Lord is showing me in the spirit, goodness, the devil is in trouble this night. Lift your hands, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Father. Please lift your hands inside and outside. Hallelujah. Hear me wherever you are. The power of God is going to begin to move across the crowd. And everywhere you are, there is a name tonight that is above every demon, every yoke, every spell. And at the mention of that name, devils will leave hallelujah hallelujah at the count of three wherever you are goodness there will be so much deliverances outside listen as i count three i want you to shout that name that's your action of faith at the top of your voice and we will begin to command this wicked spirit already the power of god is moving are you ready now one, two, three. Go shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Break the kotaba. I call spirits. I call devils. Devils, come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Now, come out! Go cross the border. Outside, outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire is falling outside. Lift up your hands. Oh, ye gates. I command spirits. Devils. Let those people go now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Outside, the fire of God is falling. The fire of God is falling. Outside, the fire of God. Every yoke, every cross, every covenant, every ordinance of darkness. Help the ushers, please. If they need more people, help them. Let's save time. Let's save time. We don't have time, please. The power of God is falling outside. Falling outside, falling outside, every spell, hallelujah. Just those outside, lift your hands, 
the first overflow and the second both of you lift your hands at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be a rain of deliverance are you ready now one two three Hallelujah. Hush. Please follow me. We have to hurry up. Listen. Goodness. There are people here. Listen. You can't sleep sound in the night. Someone must come and sleep with you or oppress you. There are people who see snakes. This lady is one of them. Let her go. Come out now. Out. Out. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Ka praise kabala da da out harata katale da ba hallelujah now listen please please let's hurry up just follow me just keep bringing them goodness there are so many angels outside ka praise de gambo there's no hiding not in the light of god second in Terekaba, Shakapa, Pareka, Sopros, Kepari, Kepros, Kopoto, let her go now by the fire of the holy ghost i challenge you right now in the name of jesus break every chain out of her now now Come out of her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. Let her go now. Now. Break every chain. Break every chain. Listen, listen, many of you don't know why, listen, hear me, please listen, let's hurry up. Do you know that behind the situation of many people are the workings of these wicked spirits? Listen to me, please. Don't let anybody fool you. There are some of you, you may not need to fall, but deliverance is already happening to you. So don't you think it's just those that come out? No. Once the word goes, some of you are already feeling things leaving you. Look, look at this girl for instance. You really believe a lady will have this strength, three people holding her? Wickedness is real. Leave her alone. On your knees and out of her. Quickly, just leave her. On your knees and out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Watch the power of faith, all of you. Watch, just... No, don't worry. Don't concentrate on her when she does it. Leave her alone. Listen. 
Listen. You see why it's good to be spiritual? Because now, one brother will just get up and come. You don't know where you are going. I'm not talking about her now. Please. Nobody should stigmatize her. Are you getting my point? One brother just comes and bounces. You don't know what is happening around the spiritual arena of somebody's life. You come and enter into something that will weep out. Look at, she cannot even go out. Look at, she's standing at the door. She can't even cross the door. She will go on her knees. Don't worry. You will see the authentic power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Behind the pain of many families is the operation of darkness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many of our families, some of you as you are standing here, don't think God is visiting you alone. You should understand us here. Your salvation is not complete until your household is touched. These are the spirits. That's why you try and try. You keep doing. This is what has stopped the admission of others. This is what has stopped the marriage of others. This is what has killed the destiny of many people. But tonight, you will part ways with it forever. Now I want to pray. I see a lot of, many of you will be surprised what will happen now. Hallelujah. There are so many people that are tormented in their dreams. Listen to me. You can't have a sound sleep. But you see people come. Animals chasing you. All kinds of devilish demonic things. Snakes. Some of you having intercourse with all kinds of people. Whether a man, whether a woman. When you are about to go for a job interview. These things happen to you and that's the end of it. It doesn't matter what happens tonight. There will be a separation once and for all. Lift up your hands again. Please lift up your hands. Let's hurry up. Whether they are causes, whether they are yokes, whether they are manifestations of spirit husband, spirit wife, wherever that devil is, as you shout, Jesus, I see fire. Fire will move from inside to outside and many people will be delivered right now at the count of three are you ready thank you father let your fire move right now one two three go 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 spirit husband spirit wife demons of darkness ancestral causes go 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 Serpents, scorpions, marine spirits, out, 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 by the fire of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Break every chain. 
Fire. Fire is burning in this place. For all these people outside, I'm speaking to the spirits now. At the count of three, the fire of God burns you out of these people. Every spirit, hear my voice. I speak from the realm of the spirit right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. You go and return no more. Leave them. Leave them. Go and return no more. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You have peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your chest right now. Quickly, please. Please, let's save time. Peptic ulcer. God is healing peptic ulcer now. Now, I don't know if we have all the time. Hallelujah. We want to take a few instant testimonies. Some of these people, when they stand up from being delivered, many of them will stand up with all kinds. Some of them are having visionary experiences right now. I hear the chains falling, falling, yeah. I give the chains. I give the chains. Oh, she pakete kita I give the chains. Zeko pedi I give the chains. Now listen, listen. Let me explain this. We always do, but for the sake of those who are coming, don't you think that those who are being delivered here are witches? Are you getting my point? Because as you are standing there, you are receiving your own deliverance. This is a family. This is an oppression of darkness. We don't want to know what the reasons are. They must go. Are you getting my point now? Peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus. God is going to heal peptic ulcer right away. Some of you, listen. Some of you will feel. Let me see how many people with peptic ulcer inside and outside. Just lift your hands. Let me know. All right, quickly. As I pray for you, for many of you, you will feel something lift off you. If that happens to you, run out quickly and come out. Run out quickly, please. Let's save time. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of blood substances around the chest of people. I cause that devil of ulcer. I command the wound heal now. Heal and close up now. Heal and close up now. Not later. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Regina. Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Please, when I call your name, quickly, quickly, hurry up. Regina. The Lord, is, the Lord is setting your family free from witchcraft. Are you hearing me? This is what God is doing. This lady is going to begin to cough out things. Please take her outside. Come. She's going to begin to cough out things. Out of her now. Take her outside, please. Please clean this up. The Lord is setting your family free. Look at me. You will begin to see dramatic things happen in your family because this has been the finger of darkness. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be healing. Let there be restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, there's someone, there's someone here. You feel movement around your right leg. You literally feel like an object, like a snake moving around, especially when you're on your bed. Who is that person? The Lord is revealing to me. Please quickly, let's save time. Once I mention your case, just come out quickly so that whether you are inside or outside, let's just hurry up very quickly. We don't have time. Goodness, help us, Lord. The devil is in trouble tonight. <laughs> Zekoto. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. You are the person? Okay, hold on. You've been having this pain. Please tell us, how has it been? Yeah, it started from here. Listen, listen, please. For about three years now. About three years. What do you feel, sir? Feel pain here. Uh -huh. They scanned, so nothing. They scanned, there was nothing. And you feel it moving? Yes, up to now. I'm even... Up till now, even now as you are talking. Watch it disappear now. Watch it disappear. You, you are an elderly man. You get my point. So you will not come and be lying when it's not done. But you watch and see what the power of God will do. Because they scanned it medically. Goodness, please let me do something quickly. I see this lady wearing a crown. Let it go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on her. Anybody, lay your hands Thank you, Jesus. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. All our workers are anointed. It doesn't matter who lays hands on them. Out! An anointed hand is upon you and you must go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, look at me. The Lord Jesus brings you healing. Complete healing. Thank you, Jesus. I want to rebuke that spirit right now. That devil of darkness, let him go right now. In the name of Jesus. Wow, something is happening to you. You feel something happening to you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Cabro That devil, go! Now in the name of Jesus. Can you walk now? Just shake your leg. You feel pain? Only here. Where? Right here. All right, lay your hands. Lay your hands, lay your own hands there. The power of God is going through you, that very place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause pain. Tell me, do you feel any pain there? You feel any pain there? It's going. It's going, right? It's going, right? It's going right? Look at him smiling. It's going, right? Now, check it. Check it. Thank you. Thank you. What is happening? Check it. Yes, so Check it. Keep it clean, the it's going. It's going. It's going. It will go. Everything will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now bend down. Go ahead. Bend down. Just no, not kneel down. Just bend down. Up and down. Exercise it. Yes. And watch the pain leave. Any pain. Any pain. Come on now. Give Jesus strength. Any pain there. Now. It's going. It's going. Where? Where exactly? You should be totally healed. What did the doctors tell you? These are demonic things. About, about, about six. Six years. Five or six scanning. Anytime, listen. Anytime you scan, you see the doctors checking. 
check in and they tell you we don't know what is wrong save yourself headache just come for prayers quick because it's the classic sign that this is the finger of god this is the finger of satan it's exactly three years it's exactly three years thank you jesus say i'm healed in, in jesus name now check yourself check yourself check yourself go ahead hit hit yourself there that's what i want until you don't feel any pain what do you feel everything when everything when everything disappears look at god healing regina madam ah now wow look at the spirit of death lingering over you the devil would have taken your life in an accident it would have been an accident a bike accident a car would hit you and kill you that would be the end of it are you married where's your husband we have to pray for him too but well, let me pray for you i cast that spirit of death go no death in the name of jesus christ hallelujah your mom feels movement hold my hands we set her mom free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost go in the name of Jesus Christ now there's somebody please listen this this is where the pain is the Lord is showing me just this side I don't know whether it is it's a bump it's a pain it's a swelling very serious at this side of your neck please who is that person the lord is healing that person right now the lord is healing that person right now very quickly the lord is healing that person the lord is healing that person right now please quickly quickly let's save time the lord is healing that person right now quickly the lord is healing that person come you are the first person god will heal the devil wants to bring madness on you hold on look at me first don't show me your back door wait the devil wants to bring madness on you this is how you would have seen this guy i don't know who knows him you'd have seen him walking on the street because it's a, sometimes you sit do you have any feeling maybe you are not yourself you have those yes sir you have those kind of feelings sometimes you feel as if you don't even it's like you don't know yes this is madness this thing would have come upon you last year it was because of the hand of god and the devil was determined that this year this madness must follow you but tonight god will deliver you you believe me we have to pray for you because i'm seeing you tied in the spirit this is what i'm seeing tied completely god is touching someone there bring the lady let hope rise i command that madness go right now i see look at what is happening to him look at look at this look at this how can somebody just start scratching his head because i said go this is madness. The devil wanted to put on. Go, 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 go. Out of him right now. Take your devilish madness back to hell. Hallelujah. What's she here for? Your neck. Now all of you lay your hands. God will heal you right now. Please. Look at the number of people. How can I just guess that your neck is failing you? Lay your hands. The power of God will touch you right now. Bring that lady for me. Out! 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 You must go now. I'm seeing an altar burning. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. This is what is happening to this girl. I'm seeing a shrine, a shrine catching fire. Every shrine, every devil's shrine, where your name and that of your family member has been taken to, it catches fire now. It catches fire now.
Hallelujah. Goodness. God is going to do a fantastic miracle outside. I'm seeing a hole in the teeth covering outside. God is filling up supernaturally a hole in the teeth. Please check it. If you confirm you are the one, don't tell us lies here. Please confirm it and come out. God is, God is filling holes. Holes. Literally, literally to close up. Hallelujah. Now, ladies, God wants to do a number of things. Irregular menstruation. God is going to heal a lot of these things. And then lump. Lump in the breast or around wherever abdominal region. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. I want to pray remember action when i pray for you check yourself right now every lump in any part of anyone's body whether in the breast area in the back at the abdomen around any part of the body in the name of the lord jesus i cause that growth now let it disappear now let it disappear now let it disappear now now, now, long go in the name of Jesus. Now begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. Hallelujah. Now let's do this quickly. Every every other person, if you came here specifically for a healing miracle, please come out and line up here. Or if you brought somebody, please. Just line up all chairs protocol. Help us arrange them, please. Please be very orderly. No fighting. Let's hurry up. While that is happening, how many of you have not written your prayer requests? Please write it quickly, quickly. Write it quickly and let's have it. You came specifically, whether within Zaria or outside Zaria, you came specifically for healing. hallelujah specifically for healing please let's save time you can see that we're really out of time we started late hallelujah myself and bishop will minister to you listen please as we pray for you expect the power of god to touch you and as the power of god touches you begin to check yourself as you go back to your seat please come out line up once we pray for the first row just give thanks and the rest will just be praying in tongues worship team you're going to lead us very hot worship as we do this very very quickly hallelujah bishops so we're going to pray for you some of you are coming out what will happen is these wicked spirits that are responsible for these things will leave you are you following me now i know that there are some of you standing in for your loved ones so as we pray call them there are some of you put your phone on speaker when it's time to prophesy tell your loved ones a word is coming wherever they are let the power of god touch them hallelujah bless you worship team you are the great and mighty god so greatly to be praised beautiful for all situations you are the joy of the whole world
affects him any okay but but we're going to pray that is a you came here and the lord jesus is going to visit you right now we don't fake what you see here there is a name that is above every other name hallelujah it doesn't matter who lays hands on you brothers and sisters there is an anointing yeah are you getting what i'm saying hallelujah i am serving the living God Out. His Out. name Out. is Jesus Out. Christ I see him die This is what I see He died and he rose And he gave me victory legs goodness since when Over 10 years 
10 years how do are you a witness is you that brought what what how do how does it shift she'll fall and can hold on look at me look at me in the name of the lord jesus look at me look at me just look at me in the name of the lord jesus Nikab, i speak to you by the power of the holy spirit no shifting for you again from today i bring you the authority of the kingdom and the spirit that sponsors this wickedness out now i command your ligaments i command everything like ezekiel 37 to be back walk what do you feel what do you feel look at come up her ligaments for 10 years she she falls down by herself do what you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do before look at this look at this her kneecap used to shift her kneecap used to shift you are, come, come, come on. who are you to who are you to her a family friends you are a what family friend you know her you know that this is true sister look look at the girl crying could she do this before she couldn't do this her kneecap will shift and she'll fall that devil is a liar whatever the devil has taken out of its place we bring it back in the name of jesus see god is working on her that wicked spirit out come out right now how dare you come upon the altar of god out out now this is the you see that i told you many things there are wicked spirits behind the activities of men let's hurry up They what? They initiated him into what? They gave him food. Then you be seeing spiritual something. You you be seeing spiritual something that you, if he tell you, you be surprised. Oh, they initiated him. That devil is a liar. Bring him up. Uh -uh, don't 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 please don't cry. Hmm. This is your daughter. It is okay. See, mommy, look, let me tell you. Including you, God will set, God is setting her free. You should be happy. Don't cry. This boy will be delivered right now. Boy, how are you? You are good. They initiated you. Yes. Eh? That are carrying him go. They say they should carry him. That they will not allow him to go to, to stay for that school. And me, I want him to be there. You look at this. Hallelujah. That, that this water is blood. If they are playing, you'll be telling them that see this thing, see this thing. You'll be very function and mommy. Listen, it's not the fault of the boy. This is this is demonic. Are you getting my point? This is why Jesus brought you here today. In the house, whatever you keep in the house, he will not be there when you kept it. But if he enter, he knows where he sits and he will carry it. No matter where you keep it. Yes. He used to steal. What does he do with it? He, he was even at times the father kept ten thousand. Even I myself, I didn't know that there was money there. He went there, he carried the money with his friend, and they finished the money. How old is he? He's eleven. Eleven years. Eleven. It was 11 in December. Watch your child be delivered upon Mount Zion. Look at this woman. I'll be fasted 21 days. They will tell me that I, even I myself have been seeing a hand holding him. I'll be forcing myself, calling him, he should come back. He will not turn back to look at me. The, the man will be holding him going. And one woman said that he cannot come out of this. But I believe that the God has served that he can do for me. That is why I'm here. I believe. So let hope rise. His darkness dwells in your home.
at me. He speaks English. He speaks English. Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I love you. I love you. From today. From today. I set myself free. I set myself free. By the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. From any covenant. From any covenant. And any initiation. Any initiation. From today. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Satan. Satan. Pack your load. Pack your load. And go. And go. I have no business. I have no business. With you. With you. I declare. I declare. That I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus. Satan, you had him. Goodbye. Let him go now. Out! This same thing is happening to some that lady. That's your, it's a family covenant. Are you seeing it now? Are you seeing as I'm praying for him? It's happening to her. It's a covenant. Don't cry, mommy. This is what is happening. How can I be praying for somebody here? The same thing is happening. In the realm of the spirit, there's no distance. They are tied by blood. That's it. As he was making this confession, you can see it affecting her too. These are spiritual laws. He said he will keep this one by saying, because this one was revealed. We don't have all the time. Don't worry, mommy. From today, listen, it's okay. It's okay. Please, please, please. We beg you. Eh? Look at me. I assure you, you will return next week or next miracle service with all these children testifying. Boy, look at me. Can you see those people again? No. Can you see them again? No. You can't see any of them again. You will never see them again. And the same way you have been set free, I set that lady free now. Leave her alone. No, 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 I'm not talking to you people. I'm speaking to the spirit. Go! Now! How can it know that I'm talking? Am I not talking to everybody here? Madam, it's okay. I need to set you free. Huh? I'm seeing your head tied with a snake. You see snakes now? Even snakes, even devils. Hold on. Do you know me, madam? Have I ever seen you? How did I know that snake is tying you? Mm. This is your own because we need to pray for you too. Oh, that girl. What's the problem? Leave her. Ah, uh -uh, is that why you're holding her? Just leave her alone. Let's pray, please. We have to hurry up. Goodness. Don't worry, don't worry. God will heal you right now. Shout, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Are you ready? I hear the chains falling. It's all right mommy you are free you and your family salvation comes to you this night in jesus name she's okay she's free please while this is happening start passing your prayer request inside outside please quickly start passing your prayer request if you've not written it write it when we are prophesying you are free to call your loved ones and let them connect or if you have whatever point of contact no problem it's scriptural Sometimes he will pick a knife that he wants to kill. His. See another episode here. What? He will pick a knife that he wants to kill his immediate elder brother. He will pick a knife that wants to kill him. My brother, how are you? Well done. You love Jesus. You wait now. He's not the one. Look at me. Look at me. We give people here, among other things, spiritual intelligence. You understand? No man can just get up. Please, while you're listening, be passing your prayer request. God answers prayers in miraculous ways here. In case you wanted to write something and you've not written it, please write it quickly. Whatever it is. So he's he, you didn't come for yourself, just for him. My brother, how are you? What's your name? Clement. Clement. You love Jesus? Yes. 
you will be delivered right now all right he carried knife to kill who his elder brother why just like that i was in school they called me they had to lock him and the police they, they released him yesterday so that they locked him in the police station for three days because he carried knife to kill his brother so they released him yesterday so that he will come for this miracle service the devil is a liar brother look at me you will be set free right now you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all dominion you have taken all the praise let him go now every foul devil in the name of Jesus go every desire to SS and we are going to change genotypes in this place today. Don't ever believe. Hear me. Hear me. Don't you ever let anybody tell you you must remain SS or AS for the rest of your life. I'm not negating medicine, but I'm telling you there is power to change it. If this is the only miracle you have, I know many people who cannot marry today because they said they are SS. We will change it. If God cannot do it, then he is not God. But I think God is able, isn't it? Hallelujah. I change this SS now. The next time it's tested, let it be found AA. Hepatitis, go. In the name of God. As you're guarding the request, just begin to bring it. We have to kill many birds with one stone. Please, hurry up. We really apologize for the time. You can see how much the time is constrained. We can't do much.
come and help me, please. Some of you can see move, please, Bishop. Let's so that we'll tidy it up. Okay, let's, let's, don't worry. Cause he the rain is pouring. I hear the rain. And I'm not ashamed. Not afraid. And I'm not afraid. Not Out. Jesus. Just look at me. What's the problem? No problem. I 
no problem. We don't have all. She has an incision. They did an incision for her. Native doctor. And don't worry, please. We don't have all the time for the explanation. Whatever it is, Jesus is Lord. In Jesus' name. Go! Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now. Hallelujah. Please, we don't have all the time. Bishop, come. Hallelujah. We are going to pray on this request. Please stand up. Please bear with us. But every part of this meeting is important. Please, please and please. Just two more things and we're out of here. You can see how the time constraint. There is so much we want to do, but... Hallelujah. Now listen. God answers prayers in dramatic supernatural ways here hallelujah and as we pray i like you to stretch your hands towards the altar hallelujah and just pray in tongues lots of miracles will start happening to people and for your family members after that i'll now speak into your life this is the best part of the meeting stretch your hands please stretch your hands even as we pray thank you jesus to celebrate these miracles in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Some of the requests look impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. For we are celebrating the miracles, the successes in the name of Jesus. None will go unanswered in the name of Jesus. 
unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly we present this request in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name hallelujah give Jesus a shout of praise please stand up everybody inside and outside Hallelujah. He sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them. The Bible says, believe the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. As I speak over your life, I want you to believe. Please, please believe and return with mighty testimonies. We don't have all the time to do the things we want to do. But we want to challenge thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Listen, and the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called them, that's what they became. Whatsoever Adam called them. The Bible says he brought the animals to him to see what he will call them. And he told Job, hast thou commanded thy morning? We're about to speak. Prophecy is very powerful, brothers and sisters. This is the moment where everyone can participate, including your loved ones who are not here. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease in this place, everything called terminal disease, everything called terminal disease, in the name that is above all names, I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, that sickness leaves your body now. 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 Every SS an AS genotype right now the Lord who has done it uncountable times in this place my God let SS and AS change to AA now change to AA now change to AA now change to AA now with medical proof change to AA now Every HIV in this place, anyone with any deadly virus, HIV, cancer, diabetes, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now with medical proof. Be healed now. I command your spirit responsible. Go, go, in the name of Jesus. Everything that has tied your progress. Everything that has tied your progress. In the name that is above every other name. I lose you from it now. I lose you from it now. I lose you from those chains now. Now. Anyone here trusting God for a job both for you and your loved ones hey, bra, take her, ba, 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 ba. we release miracle jobs now we release miracle jobs now I speak it into your life I command it into your destiny I command it into your family receive it now receive it now hallelujah Every spirit of delay that is working in the life of anyone here. Things you should have accomplished. Something has pulled you down. There are levels you would have been right now. I command right now, according to the anointing of the spirit upon my life. Let there be acceleration now. Acceleration now. Acceleration now. I challenge the powers 
that hold you down. Let them go. I challenge the forces. I challenge the altars. I challenge the acts of witchcraft. I release you now. Anyone's marital destiny. Hear me. For you and for your loved ones. Anyone's marital destiny that has been tied down. Whether you are married or not. There are people who are married. It's like they are not married. There are others that should marry. And there are powers that have said you will not get married. This night, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I open up marital doors. I open up marital doors. God protected me. I open up marital doors. I open up marital doors. Thank you, Jesus. I pray everything responsible for inexplainable academic failure. You are doing your best. You write exams. The result comes out and you know it's not your own. I prophesy right now upon your life whatever is not your own, I take it out of your life. Whatever result that is not your own, I take it out in the name of Jesus. I command corrections. I command adjustments in the name of Jesus. For those who have been victimized by any lecturer, you are supposed to get A. They gave you E. I command, let there be a restoration. That restoration must happen. Hallelujah. Anyone barren here? Low sperm count, fibroid, whatever it is, I don't care what it's called. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, return with your miracle children. Return with your miracle children. Every barren womb be open now. Hallelujah. All the ladies here that are going to every devil called painful menstruation or irregular menstruation. I don't want to know what the name is. I don't care how long it has been. From this night, I challenge the altars responsible. Be free. Be free. Be free. Hallelujah. I pray for your finances in the name that is above all names. In 2014, we prophesy, let doors beyond your imagination, we open them now. Now, financial doors, financial opportunities, every yoke, every curse, every spell that brings poverty despite your giving i curse it now hallelujah i pray every dead spiritual life in this place there are some of you you came here as a matter of life and death i command every dead spiritual life let an unction come upon you right now as i speak i fire it back in the name of jesus prayer life come alive now come alive now come alive now what life come alive now 
let the spirit of revelation come upon you now come upon you now that anointing of favor that can come upon a man's life many of you don't understand I want to activate something in your life I pray that anointing of favor that can separate a man for no reason I pray as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, may that man do hit you now may it come upon your life I pray for your family members whatever the devil said they will not get this year whatever project building project house project whatever has tied your family i prophesy lord god of heaven let there be a rain of testimony rain of testimony whatever you have lost and whatever your family members have lost some of you have lost relationships some of you opportunities let there be a restoration now a restoration now hallelujah and I pray that that presence of God that goes with a man I pray for every ministry represented here every ministry that is represented here I command begin to move in strange levels of unction strange levels of wisdom strange levels of revelation i release angelic encounters i release prophetic encounters in the name of jesus now lift your hands i want to activate the gift of the spirit we have a few minutes very very few but lift your hands hallelujah i'm just going to prophesy many people will receive impartations of different kinds of gifts there are some of you that need activation right now in the name of jesus Rakatatata. take it now take it now take it now take it 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 give the prophecy take it gift of healing take it inside and outside receive it healing anointing miracle working anointing prophetic anointing apostolic anointing entrepreneurial anointing take it take it leadership mantle take it prophetic revelation take it take it I command your eyes to be open may you see what others don't see anyone marked for death in this place anyone marked in the spirit realm for death in the name of the Lord Jesus I cast that spirit now 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 now, 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 spirit of death, go, 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 go. Thank you, Jesus. May you return next week with dramatic testimonies whatever you wrote here as your prayer request i prophesy according to the anointing in the name of jesus may your hand receive it may you walk in it Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. 
I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.